Hey there welcome back to Financial Future, your go-to channel for all things related to Social Security, SSI, SSDI, VA benefits, and more and today we've got some exciting and important news to discuss a potential $2,000 fourth stimulus check in 2024, specifically focused on low-income and fixed-income beneficiaries. That includes Social Security Retirement, Disability, SSDI Survivor, Spousal, SSI, VA Benefits. Would a one-off $2,000 stimulus check help you out right now? If you got an extra $2,000 deposited into your account right now, that would be wildly helpful for a lot of people. With rapidly rising inflation and the last time we received any assistance being a few years ago, $2,000 would go very fast. Now, let's talk about who would benefit from this stimulus check. We're focusing on 100 million low-income people, including fixed-income beneficiaries. As of right now, the U.S. population is about 334 million people, and around 100 million of those fall into the low-income or fixed-income category. It's important to note that just because someone is a fixed-income beneficiary doesn't necessarily mean they are low-income. Some people receiving Social Security benefits might also be working and earning a high salary. This discussion primarily pertains to those who are both low-income and fixed-income beneficiaries. It's pretty easy to be low-income these days with the current economic environment. Reports and surveys show that many people are struggling financially, falling behind on bills, facing delinquencies, and carrying high balances on credit cards. Sending a one-time $2,000 check to 100 million low-income people would cost $200 billion. This is significantly less than the $851 billion spent on stimulus checks a few years ago. This rapid spending stimulates the economy effectively. Additionally, the overall cost of this targeted approach is much lower than previous stimulus efforts, and it avoids the significant inflationary pressures seen in the past. It's worth noting that while some blame the previous stimulus checks for the current inflation, the stimulus checks accounted for only $851 billion out of the $6 trillion printed. The remaining $5.15 trillion also contributed significantly to inflation. The U.S. federal government is in debt to the tune of $34 trillion. That's a staggering amount, and realistically, there's no easy way for the government to pay it all back. Inflation is the gradual increase in prices over time, and it can actually make it easier for the government to pay back its debts. But if inflation occurs, the value of your debt decreases over time. This means that in an inflationary environment, it's easier to pay back debts with less valuable currency. Imagine you borrow $400,000 to buy a home. So, even though the cost of everything has gone up, including your mortgage, your increased income makes it easier to pay off your debt. To bring this closer to home, Let's consider the median home price in the U.S. In the year 2000, the median home price was around $1,200. Today, it's closer to $400,000. If you bought a home in 2000 with a mortgage, you'd still be making the same monthly payments, but those payments would be much easier to manage thanks to inflation. Inflation is a tool that governments use to manage their debts, but it's not without its risks. Understanding inflation and its implications can help us make informed decisions about our finances and advocate for policies that promote long-term economic stability. Please like and subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching.